Hello and welcome back. And hello to all the new people. See, I do more than Lord of the Rings content, by the way. I also have a Patreon and all of my social media is down below. So if you guys are interested in that, please check it out. I post regularly on Twitter and I post regularly on Instagram. I also have TikTok, so if you guys are interested. Publishing industry. The publishing industry is kind of a weird minefield. And now with the antitrust suit that's coming out, now with this sort of antitrust thing that's happening, the big five publishers, Penguin Random House, all of this, out of 58,000 trade titles published per year, half of those titles will sell fewer than one dozen copies. And that is kind of telling. But it's also interesting that unless you're one of the handful of, sort of really successful writers that will guarantee bestseller, you aren't going to get... There's lists. Publishers have lists. A, B, C, D. And where you are on that list is completely up to what the publisher, what your sales are. And they do want that gold. They want that lucky gold, that initial bestseller, and then go on to something else. What I found is that, and I know this firsthand through people, I know people who are published via the big five, close friends. I know people who are published independently on smaller press and so on. All of them have said the same thing. They couldn't live off what they make of their books. They couldn't live off the advance. And then we had another writer on Twitter who was moaning that she was expected to promote her own work. The thing is, in this day and age, self-promotion is key. We live in an age of personality. And that's a huge difference to what we were a few years ago, even 20 years ago. If you look at what's selling in bookstores firsthand in the UK, it's crime fiction. It's it's stuff like that. It's occasionally non-fiction, but predominantly crime fiction and the top ten. They're like the bestseller lists. They're what it, our people are picking up and reading. And now we are in a more money-conscious society. People are spending less on books. And the thing is, some publishers do really gouge for their books. If your bog-standard uh, mass-market paperback is £15, I have a very big problem with that price when the hardback is the same price or more. And a lot of the time I do read via my library and ebooks, just simply on cost and knowing that as a consumer... I don't have the money to spend £100 on books every month. It's very simple. I have a budget. It's not difficult. I think the disconnect here is that publishers see the superstar writers of the past and see what they still do on their name alone. They will enter, you know, a book by William Gibson will enter the UK, will be an instant bestseller with no promotion, nothing. It will just happen. The same with Stephen King and so on. Great writers... But it's interesting seeing that disconnect over what they want to achieve with their book versus what they're willing to do and not particularly understanding the publishing industry. I think one of the big key things here is indie publishing as well. An indie book, I know people who are outselling the top 10 book in the same genre in traditionally published. Indie writers make more money. There is a bigger initial investment, but if you can hit those lists and get things selling, you will make more money than you would if you were a traditionally published writer. Plus, you have complete creative control over your own work and agency within your own work, which is a huge difference, the, the industry as a whole and how it functions. I think now... This is through research, my own exploits trying to get published and things like that, is that writers aren't getting published because publishers don't want to take risks. You look at these great list of books, you look at the these great indie works that would never be picked up by a mainstream publisher. It's just the nature of the beast because they don't tick certain boxes. Right now, publishers are either interested in wish fulfillment fiction or uh, crime fiction which tends to be very safe, or something that can be marketed purely on identity politics alone. And that is an extremely sad state of the industry to be in. At this moment in time, getting published is becoming harder and harder and harder. There's a lot of, there are a lot of um, publishers and agents that won't take a manuscript that hasn't been professionally edited. So they expect you to pay out to have your manuscript edited before they even look at it. 
there is there's like a whole list of this i have known people that have been told we don't want to put we like your book but we can't read we don't want to publish it because we need this or this or could you write this okay so the manuscript that someone's been working on for a long time doesn't isn't good enough but you would be happy if they wrote something else i think ultimately traditional publishing as we know it is slowly colliding and i'll pick on booktube here booktube is very focused on the top on the main five publishers the big five and not having any divergent in the industry there's no alternative really there are a handful of smaller publishers that don't work within them but again these books don't sell unless they get very lucky these books aren't going to sell as well because the budget isn't there getting your book in a newspaper getting your book on a billboard getting your book on social media and ads costs money that most of these companies don't really have anymore and that's been really real about it i think also i th i think more people are like i said were less willing to spend on books because again books cost money Books are a luxury item in a, for many people. And the problem with that is publishers are slowly gouging. Harper's Voyager is very bad for gouging out people. I think it's one of those things that now people are more aware of the business model. People are more aware of what's actually happening. And when people can sell the same quantity of an indie published book or more on, any, on an indie release, what happens? Like indie fantasy right now is mind-blowing. Indie... Uh, works full stop are spectacular you know it's one of those things where you're where now we're at this point where indie works are often superior better edited better thrown together have better cover work and better marketing than a big release through penguin or harper's voyager and that's fascinating to see but it also kind of lets in the fact that we are in this weird state of publishing the industry, I think, needs to change, and I think the fact that it isn't changing, it isn't moving forward, it's stuck at a different point, and it's trying to do the same stuff it always did, but with less money. If you want to sell, you need to promote. It's very simple, and if you're a writer and you're not promoting your own work, whether you're indie published or traditionally published, very few people are going to see it. You want to sell copies and you want to make money. It's not difficult. And I think there was an element of entitlement to that standard of that comment on Twitter that was just ridiculous and reductive and just woe is me. I think at this point in time, I genuinely at this point in time, I think indie is the way to go for most people. If you sell less copies, you're still going to make money. Even if it's just pennies, pocket money, you're going to make something, can probably make a little more. And it's very easy to get in those bestseller lists and get on the front pages of certain websites, Kindle, Kobo, iBooks, and so on. I think the publishing industry has to move from a very stagnant point. It's not 1995 anymore. It's not the year 2000 anymore. It's not 2005 anymore. And there's been massive leaps from those industries and how books are consumed and how people consume advertising and media. But they're not a lot of publishers are very much stuck in the past or expect you to do all the work because you're not on their A-list, which is, again, money, cost, and so on. And I get it. I've been a traditionally published writer and I never want to do it again um, because it was a nightmare and I had no creative control and there were major changes made to a now horrible and embarrassing book that I've erased from existence. I was about to swear then. So I do wonder what the next steps will be. But I think the industry needs a kick in the bum at the most literal sense of the term because it's just not doing anything.